Happy New Year's. We are in 2022, man. Looking back to 2021, we launched to Southern Earn Town. Our business exploded here on the East Coast, and we're doing some great things in our community, guys. But I'm excited about 2022. In today's video, we'll be discussing the four ways to crush your goals going into the new year. Sold out service, and you know we've been working. We serve it, we earn it. The watches, it's hurting. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They gotta shift keys to be a capitalist. Step one, change behaviors over goals. Going into a new year, most of us set goals. Now, I wanna lose 10 pounds, man. I wanna read uh, five books a month. I wanna read 10 books a year. Whatever your goals are, right? We have these goals we're setting for for our business, for our personal life going in 2022. We've seen so many people set goals, man. When you go into the gym, January 1, what do you see? Everyone's working out. Everyone's on the treadmill, wanting to lose weight. Here's the biggest problem with setting those goals. They never change their actual behaviors. Behaviors are way more important than changing goals. Like, here's an example of changing behaviors, guys. Let's say you're saying, man, Chris, I want to read 50 books next year. Okay, cool. How's that going to happen? Well, what are you going to change? What, what behaviors do you change? One of the biggest changes I made in my life was actually reading. Guys, prior to me being what? Prior to age 27, 28, I didn't read many books. I may have read a book a year, if that, open a book, crack it open, get to chapter three, and I stop, right? How did I change the behaviors in the last seven years of my life to get to in business now? Was changing the behaviors around reading books. Here's what I did. I said, okay, cool. Every time I'm in a car, I'm listening to an audio book. No more music. That's a behavior change. If I'm at the gym working out, I used to love putting in some music, man, something to get me pumped up and get me going, but at the end of the day, I said, I'm in the gym for an hour. I'm working out lifting weights for an hour. I can't spare an hour just listening to music. That's an hour of productivity for my mind. So what do I do? I listen to an audiobook. By changing the behavior of listening to audiobooks on a way to work, on a way to my business, on a way to seeing a client, um, from going to listen to music at the gym to listening to a, a book, I have an hour workout session. That's an hour audiobook. The average audiobook is about five to six hours. One week of working out, you finish a book a week. So my challenge to you, going into 2022, as you set goals, establish behaviors that reinforce the actions to make that goal possible. Step two, invest into the change you want to make. What do I mean by that? Invest into it. You're looking at behaviors being changed, right? One, behaviors. Okay, two, you're looking at how can I invest into the goals I'm setting in 2022. Perfect example, last year I set a goal to get in better shape. What did I do? I invest into a personal trainer. As I have a background in being an athlete, I've worked out in the past. I know I used to work at a gym. Why would I invest into a personal trainer for an entire year? I went and skin the game. I'm paying this guy an hourly rate. I'm paying for 30, 30 sessions up front. I'm, put, I'm dropping a couple thousand dollars into, into this, this personal trainer. I'm gonna show it to the freaking gym because I'm paying for this team, right? Think about your personal development, your growth. Maybe invest into a conference on business development, leadership. I went to a John C. Maxwell conference recently. Invest into yourself, why? Because you wanna grow as a leader, maybe a business owner. And so what I've seen from most people is this, they set goals, they have no skin in the game, no financial investment there, it's very easy to quit on it. And so whatever goal you're setting, maybe it is a gym, maybe go buy a personal package, a personal train. Maybe you're saying, man, Chris, I can't quite afford that. So that skin in the game says, hey man, I may sacrifice this to happen. I, I went to a, a conference that cost you a couple thousand dollars. I, I, I invested into a book package or a book club. So once you take those steps of investing time and money into those goals, that financial and time commitment holds you accountable to getting it done. Step three, using logic and emotion to establish a business plan. What are you doing to set a business plan in place to accomplish it? I've done so many business plans in the past and guess what I've always done? They were very logical. It was, hey, grow by 25%, grow by 80% growth, um, penetrate a new market, X amount of sales being done. Uh, I work in the insurance industry, right? So X amount of new clients being added to our book of business. They were very logical. I would write it down on a board, put it into a sheet of paper, type it up, laminate it, and I'll see it every single day. And guess what? I'll get to work, life would happen, and I forget about it. The biggest challenge was this, not tying emotions to my actual goals. Emotion and logic play a huge role in setting business plans in place for the year. Maybe it's your skill versus the will. The skill is okay, cool, how well am I at doing this business? The will is my willpower to get it done. It's the work ethic behind it. Maybe it's your, it's your capital versus your vision. Capital being like, okay, cool, how am I investing into this business and what's the vision I'm cast to make this happen? And so as you go through your business strategy this year, as you set your business plans for 2022, make sure you set aside time to tie emotion to what you're doing. Your systems versus your dreams. Okay, the systems how I'm building this thing up. The dream is, man, why am I doing this here? And when you attach emotion to that system, what happens is this. 
your business plan becomes a living, breathing document throughout the entire year that you're always looking at and, and making changes to because it's not just a number on a spreadsheet, it's your goals and your dreams. Step four, read five new books on a focused skill set. What are you looking to accomplish in 2022? Are you focusing on increasing your leadership skills? Is it your sales skills? Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe you're like, man, Craig, I'm having a child for the first time in 2022. My daughter, my son is due in April. Maybe I wanna learn how to be a better father or a better mother. I've always taken time in life and said, okay, cool, in this season of my life, how do I want to grow? It was a season of my life when I became an entrepreneur. I said, man, I have no clue what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. I read five books from a guy named Robert Kiyosaki. Back to back to back to back to back. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, one of my best books of all time, my top five business books, changed my entire life. At one season in my life, I was trying to lead people and I thought I was a good leader, but I sucked, right? And I said, how do I get better as a leader? I read five books from John C. Maxwell in, in, in the course of one month. And I just really just engulfed myself in the leadership capacity of what I can do and I can reach my life. And so in 2022, one of the most simplest ways to increase a skill set is just study that skill set. There is nothing new under the sun. What do you want to get better at? Go get a book on it. Maybe you're opening a business for the first time. Maybe whatever it is you're doing, say, okay, cool. Go to Amazon, type in, go to books, type in that skill set, type in maybe marriage, type in leadership, raising kids, whatever it may be purchase the five top books on that category and I guarantee you going into 2022 you're a new man and a new woman because you renewed your mind and you studied a certain skill set for a period of time that's going to help compound success in that category of your life. So if you're saying Chris man I'm excited about 2022 being the beginning of the best years of my life. Reflect back on these four steps. Stay committed and let's crush these goals in 2022. So if you got value from today's deal do not forget to hit the subscribe button and comment in the comment section below and follow us on Instagram at Sold Out Server. Until next time I'll see you soon.